I'm just going to read you the, the language in your bill. No classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties relating to sexual orientation or gender identity shall occur. Um, lady, you mentioned George Washington. Who is Martha Washington? His wife. Could it be mentioned under the plain reading language of your bill? Two things. Number one, the silence speaks volumes. And number two, would you believe it if I told you that the man grilling this Republican over her idiotic and medieval bill was in fact a Republican colleague? In this astounding clip, openly gay Missouri State Representative Phil Cristofanelli is seen criticizing his fellow GOP party member Representative Ann Kelly over her anti-LGBTQ school bill. Kelly, who used to be a middle school teacher by the way, sought to introduce a bill that bans a discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity in classrooms. To which her colleague posed a simple question. You just have to listen to a response to believe it. I'm just going to read you the, the language in your bill. No classroom instruction by school personnel or third parties relating to sexual orientation or gender identity shall occur. Um, lady, you mentioned George Washington. Who is Martha Washington? His wife. Under your bill, how could you mention that in a classroom? So to me, that's not sexual orientation. Really? So it's only really certain sexual orientations that you want prohibited Pat, from introduction you, in the classroom. Do you have language to make that better, to make it where you're not talking? Lady, I didn't introduce your bill. Okay. Uh, and I, I didn't write it. You wrote it. And so I'm asking what it means. Which sexual orientations do you believe should be prohibited from Missouri classrooms? We all have a moral compass. And my moral compass is compared with the Bible. Lady, I believe I during believe your testimony, you said that you didn't want teachers' personal beliefs entering the classroom, but it seemed a lot like your personal belief you would like to enter all Missouri classrooms. You can, you can believe something without, in, without, in, without putting that onto somebody by the way you behave. And you can have beliefs and morals and values that guide you through life. I, I don't dispute that, but I'm asking about the language of your bill and how it would permit the mention of the historical figure Martha Washington. Could you explain that to me? So, what does she? What? Why is she famous? Is she famous because she's married with, to George Washington? It seems like that would be a relevant fact. In her biography, yes. Could it be mentioned under the plain reading language of your bill? Is that a no? I, I, I don't know, sir. Okay. And here's the major takeaway. Is anyone surprised? Now, I credit this representative for pushing back, but his party is the reason why people like this are putting forth these state of florida we're proud to stand for education not indoctrination in our schools you know what makes america great is not the suppression of ideas or the pursuit of every corner of those ideas may lead us or the facts it's it's about who we are and how we investigate who we are and celebrate the diversity of who we are. All of these bills that DeSantis and others are doing limit our ability to understand who we are and are not inclusive, they're exclusive. They're, they're narrowing the focus of what is and isn't American history. It's terrifying, it feels like a Soviet system. This is what happens when the entirety of the Republican war on education can be categorized under one headline anti-woke. They actually don't know what they're outraged about or what they're trying to accomplish. But as long as they say, well, we're done with the woke agenda, they fall in line. But as this example perfectly proves, they actually don't understand that straight is a sexual orientation because they want everyone to just be that way. They think it should be the norm, so it shouldn't fall under a category because to them, being gay is woke. So banning sexual orientation according to them means, well, banning anything other than straight even though that is a sexual orientation. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. But when exposed for their negligence, what is their fallback? Come on, you know, the safety net of all Republican culture wars. 
we all have a moral compass. And my moral compass is compared with the Bible. Doesn't want anyone to enforce their beliefs on children, but her bill is entirely enforced by her own belief. They are walking, talking hypocrites. They contradict themselves just by speaking. The best part of waking up, maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new maggot tears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com. It's 100% union made right here in the USA. I know I'm not tired of winning yet. How about you? Get yours today.